Hey YouTube, how's it going? Well, it's continuing in a very uncomfortable fashion. We'll put it that way. Uh, this is because the catheter is still there. I have learned that my earliest opportunity to have the catheter removed is when I go to my appointment with the urologist, which doesn't happen until the 22nd. Yeah. That makes me so thrilled. Not. <laughs> because this thing has been in there for quite a long time already, as it is. It was put in on the 24th of February. And that makes it nigh on three weeks now. And this is decidedly uncomfortable. It would be a polite way to put it. Um, because it, it's weird. There are times when it's not overly super awful bad, as in it's possible to function and get some things done and occasionally manage to make a hermit craft episode, which I haven't managed in the last few days. I've been trying, but with the distraction I'm getting from that thing, it's just very difficult to sit in a position that lets me do anything, to have any kind of a good position for actually playing Minecraft for more than a few seconds at a time. Yeah, so I'm kind of pushing it right now here, but I don't actually have to do anything but sit here and talk. Um, yeah, it's, uh, the thing about the catheter is real size versus the perceived size. The real size, well, obviously it's small enough to do its job, put it that way. But the perceived size we're talking about an Alaska Pipeline-like thing that is actually big enough to have a 12-lane highway down the middle of it. <laughs> That's 12 lanes in each direction. <laughs> yeah, that's what it feels like a lot of the time. And when it gets feeling like that, oh man, it's really hard to find any kind of a position that doesn't hurt. And so, right now I'm really looking forward to just getting that thing out. On the other hand, I have been managing to do at least one Hermitcraft episode a week so far. This is a step in the right direction. And I'm hoping to get another one up soon. And I also managed, over the last several days, to get something else going that I've been wanting to. I have a new series of Kerbal Space Program going. That's right, it's Kerbal Space Program. I haven't played that in like almost six years. And it just occurred to me recently how long it had actually been and how many versions and updates the KSP has gone through in all that time. And so I did some looking around, I got the latest version, 1.11.1, .1, and I went looking around and got me some mods, and so on, and put together, I think, a good, decent package. It's not overly heavily modded. There's got, like, these Outer Planets mod, which adds four planets and a bunch of moons, and uh, the uh, USI colonization mod, and some functional mods and whatnot. Not a, you know, the, the colonization mod is like the only major parts mod. You know, and, uh, well, there's also uh, procedural fuel tanks. I believe I've still got that one in, yeah. But uh, I've started with that, 
link in the description to the playlist and so forth. Kerbal Manifest Destiny. I think it has potential. And uh, we'll see. Meanwhile, I'm looking for a time that I actually have enough relief or can find a position with enough relief that doesn't uh, twang on this thing or, you know, whatever position I'm in that doesn't cause it to pull or whatever and uh, make it hurt even more <laughs> because the wrong position can do that really, really fast. Like, if anything bumps the hose, <laughs> yeah, you really don't want that. You really don't want that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and as for my attitude, what can I say? You either laugh or go crazy. Yeah. So, there you go. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I am out of here. Mr. Jim Falls,